Always. Okay, we'll open up for questions for KSA and the man the fur coat. It seemed like you guys were the tone setters emotionally. How was the challenge of being able to channel all the emotions of tonight and kind of direct it into your play? Um, well, for me, the biggest thing was just going out on a strong note. Um, you know, like I said in the little presser yesterday, um, you know, this is a team that punked us last time we played. Um, and so I just knew, you know, like, obviously, you know, at the end of the day, sometimes you play your best basketball and you still lose. Like, it just doesn't come out the right way. But I knew that going into this, like, I wasn't going to let it happen that way. I wasn't going to let us get punked in front of our home crowd after, you know, all the improvements and just consistency we showed at home this year. Like, I made sure that, you know, that was my whole approach was I'm like, they're not, they're not getting us on the glass this game. Um, and so it was more or less almost working backwards more than, oh, you know, I hope it goes right. I was almost kind of in like a, <laughs> this isn't going to be, like, we're not going out sorry kind of deal. For either of you, just what do you have to do against a defense that plays as aggressively as Rutgers does? Um, well, uh, I mean, so we kind of failed at it in the first half with 10 turnovers, but um, the biggest thing is just, trying to match their physicality and not let them jump passing lanes, just being sure on every pass you make, um, and just not letting them speed us up, um, which we definitely fell victim to. But then in the second half, we did a better job responding and kind of adapting to that pressure. Um, and yeah, I mean, obviously, like, you know, they're arguably like the best defensive team in our country. I mean, in our conference, um, one of the best in the country as well. But um, yeah, I mean, even with that turn turnovers, you know, just how we were scoring, like I knew if we just took care of that, like this game was going to take care of itself. I guess it was a kind of cold shooting start for you, but when they cut it to six late in the game, you scored ten straight points. I guess what, what did that mean to you to be able to step up at that moment when your team needed you? You know, yeah, obviously I couldn't, I couldn't hear any, like in fast half, like three, from three, three point area. But you know, I just, I just, you know, keep moving, you know, keep moving, you know, keep. Keep cutting her, so that's what paid me off at the, that moment of the game, you know. And then I hit the big three, you know, big three and, and one too. So, you know, I think I just gotta, you know, keep moving like that, you know, to re let let the, let the you know, let the game come to me, you know. I just gotta wait the moment to come, you know, come to me. Casey, what did today mean to you, your final game here in Nebraska, and to Josiah as well? Yeah, it meant to me a lot to me, you know. Pray for pray here for three three years, you know. From the amazing, amazing fun, like amazing crowd, like I've never forget this moment in my life. Yeah, I mean, for me, obviously, you know, I've only, you know, I only got to play here for one year, but, um, you know, my heart's been here since I was a little kid, and so to be able to go out that right way, um, and just really have it, just kind of unfold the way it did, you know, just me, you know, getting to play my. Um, some of my best basketball, at least just to like playing my best, you know, just with my hustle, just because, you know, I've been very inconsistent this season. And so I'm happy I was able to show up for us tonight um, and just kind of get that momentum, not leave a sour taste in our mouth about, you know, going whatever it would be like 10 and one and uh, at home. And so, um, I mean, I'm definitely going to remember, especially because I, at, up until obviously this year, I thought <laughs> my last game in uh, in PBA was going to be a loss in the semifinals in high school, so I'm happy I now I can officially know that my last game here is a, is a dub. <coughs> Josiah, uh, what went through your mind when Casey was going on his little run there, especially with that logo three? Oh, I mean, I, I mean, I was just I was just excited for him. Um, you know, I know how hard he works and how much pride he takes in it, and you know, especially just the respect that he's drawn from teams like you know you can't leave him regardless of how he played the last game you know you can't that's not somebody that you can be like all right he's on you know he's kind of getting iced down now he's not going to be a factor um and so just for him to play you know like the case a basketball that basically everyone had told me about when i first got here like you you know you're not going to really be like i know he's a good shooter but there's a there's a whole different level he takes it to when he's in the zone um and so just being able to go out on that high note for him you know i was just I was almost just, you know, happy and excited as a fan, um, just kind of getting to watch him work in his element. <coughs> Double digit win, and you didn't have a field goal in the last six minutes. Defensively, you guys, what what was working for you? Today? Wow, I did not know that, but um, felt like it. But um, 
Yeah, I mean, it. it's just kind of like a, a testament to, our, to this team. Um, you know, we're not a team that relies solely on, you know, just outscoring everybody, you know, like a, like a Kentucky or like an Auburn or somebody that just tries to really just get it and go. And, you know, if they score 100, they'll be safe. But if they have to play down in like the 70s and they're screwed. Um, like we have the potential to be, you know, an elite defensive team. Like I remember seeing something where it was like we had like the number one defense um, from like January 31st up until, I don't know, obviously probably until we lost um, the other day. But, um, you know, like this is a team where, you know, we spend a lot of time in practice. We've sacrificed a lot. We've put a major investment into being a good defensive team in the off season. And just with the type of system it is and, you know, the new guys we have, just getting, just gelling together, everyone understanding, you know, different people's kind of reactions or, you know, their their ability to recover and things like that have really just allowed us to continue to grow over the course of the season. And I'm glad that, you know, we're, we're finding our footing on that side of it um, kind of when it matters most. And so, you know, obviously there's times when, you know, we're able to really just get it and go and burn teams. But, um, you know, you got to be able to win ugly, especially if you're going to make any kind of noise in March or, you know, in the tournament. Like, you can't expect to just be barn, you know, you can't just set the roof on fire every single game. Um, so being able to fall back on our defense is something that we've been, the coach has been preaching since day one. Joe, how good was Jawani? He also had a double double yeah. in, the, in the monster dunk there too before yeah. that. No, that was, that was awesome. I mean, we, we both, I mean, we just, we both just take a lot of pride in just being those crashers. Um, you know, it's kind of why I'm sporting a fur coat. Um, you know, I wore it today just because I knew I was going to just come, you know, come with a little flair today um, regardless. And, you know, I'm like, you know, I'm a hustler. You know, I'm a hustler, baby. I'm on <laughs> what you think. Um, and, you know, Juan's the same way. You know, I'm sure if, if, <laughs> if I would have had a second one, I'm sure he'd be wearing his today too. Um, but, yeah, I mean, we, we, both, we both just love, you know, finding those extra possessions, doing that little scrappy work. Um, and so, you know, I'm also just, you know, excited for him that he kind of got to leave PBA, you know, playing the way that, you know, he's known for and, you know, kind of leaving on that high note. You get to come recently Especially or what? a recent purchase, the code? Or oh, no, this is <laughs> Yeah, I got it for like 70 bucks on Amazon. Um, yeah, it was a great deal. But you got to order, it's like a triple XL because it's like, I think it's like uh, from China. And so, like, the sizes are different, but, yeah. It's a pretty good deal. Okay. Right. We'll let's, players. let's end on that. Coach, <laughs> 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 Casey outside. <laughs>